welcome to the lecture on advanced calculus and numerical methods in my previous lectures i discussed about how to derive one dimensional wave equation and also one dimensional heat equation so in this lecture i am going to discuss about the various possible solutions of the one dimensional wave equation and also one dimensional heat equation by using variable separable method so first i am going to discuss about the various possible solutions of one dimensional wave equation by using separation of variables so for this i am going to take the one dimensional wave equation that is dou square u by dou t square is equal to c square into dou square u by dou x square the first step is let me assume the solution of the wave equation will be in the form u is equal to x into t where this capital x is a function of small x and capital t is a function of small t so now i am going to incorporate this the va value of u x is equal x into t in the given wave equation so i will get the expression like dou square xt by dou t square is equal to c square into dou square xt by dou x square so if i differentiate this equation since here x is a constant it is independent of the t variable so i can take x outside so i will get x into dou square t by dou t square and here uh, since here t is an independent of x variable so i can take t outside so i will be having the expression like dou square x by dou x square so now the i got the expression like x into dou square t by dou t square is equal to x uh, t into c square into dou square x by dou x square i got it so now i am going to divide this complete equation by c square xt so if i divide this equation with c square xt i will get the expression like 1 by c square t into uh, d square t by dt square is equal to 1 by x into d square x by dx square so so to find the uh, solution of the equation i'm just converting the partial derivatives into ordinary derivatives so now i'm going to equate that both the equations uh, with some constant common constant say k so equating both sides to a common constant k so we'll be having the expression like 1 by x d square x by dx square is equal to cap k and 1 by c square t d square t by dt square is equal to k so if i simplify this further i'll be having the expression like d square x by dx square minus kx is equal to zero d square t by dt square minus c square kt is equal to zero so uh, so in now uh, in ode uh, we know that uh, by replacing d is equal to some variable and we can simplify the equation like i'm, I'm replacing d is equal to d by dx here so i'll get the equation like d square minus k into x is equal to zero here d square minus c square k into t is equal to zero so in this expression this capital d stands for d by dx in this expression the capital d stands for d by dt so now we have to uh, frame the auxiliary equation for the given equation and we have to find a solution so now the first case so actually it will be having three different uh, three different cases the first case will be if k is equal to zero the second case will be if k may be positive the third case may be k may be negative also so first case i am taking if k is equal to zero so in the previous equation in this two equation if i replace k is equal to zero so i will get the equation like d square x is equal to zero and d square is equal to zero so here d stands for d by dx here d stands for d by dt so we can make the auxiliary equation also so it will be equal to m square is equal to zero so uh, for both the equations so it will be same only m square is equal to zero i will get it on simplifying this m square is equal to zero the roots will be m is equal to zero comma zero so now we can uh, make the complementary function for the given equations since here zero comma zero are roots are equal here so the complementary function for this equation it will be x is equal to c1 plus c2 x into e power 0 x similarly here also so since here d, d is equal to d by dt so it will be equal to t is equal to c3 plus c4 t into e power 0 t i can write it so now i am going to incorporate this x value this t value in the assumed solution of the wave equation that is u is equal to xt so i can replace here so u is equal to xt will become c1 plus c2 x into c3 plus c4 t i can write it so this is for case one case two is let k is equal to plus p square so uh, here why i am taking plus p square is means uh, if if p is any value so k will be only positive only will get it so if p is, p is equal to minus one or plus one if p is minus two or plus two so k, k will be always positive only we can get it so i'm only i'm taking k is equal to plus p square 
so now if i replace k is equal to plus p square in the operator equation so i will be having the equation like d square minus p square x is equal to 0 here d square minus c square p square into t is equal to 0 so making the auxiliary equation for this one it will be m square minus p square is equal to 0 on finding the root i will get m is equal to plus or minus p the complementary function will be your roots are real and distinct the complementary function will be c1 e power px plus c2 e power minus px so here the roots are m is equal to plus or minus cp the complementary function will be uh, t is equal to c3 e power cpt plus c4 e power minus cpt so now i can incorporate this x and t value in the u equation so u will be equal to xt so c1 dash e power px plus c2 dash e power minus px c3 dash e power cpt plus c4 dash e power minus cpt we can write it third case so when k is negative so let me take k is equal to minus p square so same thing here also if p is if p is plus or minus so k will be negative only will get it so only i am taking k is equal to minus p square so now i am going to replace k is equal to minus p square in the operator equation so i will be having the equation like d square plus p square x is equal to zero here d square plus c square p square into t is equal to zero if i frame the auxiliary equation for this one i will be having m square plus p square is equal to zero m is equal to plus or minus ip since it is a complex root the solution will be c1 cos px plus c2 sin px so here i will get m square plus c square p square is equal to zero m is equal to plus or minus icp so it is a complex root the complementary function will be c3 cos cpt plus c4 sin cpt so now replacing again this x and t in the u equation so i will be having u is equal to c1 double dash cos px plus c2 double dash sin px into c3 double dash cos cpt plus c4 double dash sin cpt is the solution so this is our various possible solutions of the one dimensional wave equations so next i'm going to consider the various possible solution of one dimensional heat equation by using separation of variables so same thing here also so consider the heat equation first that is dou u by dou t is equal to c square into dou square u by dou x square so let me take the equation u is equal to x t so where same thing x is a function of x and t is a function of t and replacing this u equation here i'll get equation like dou by dou x t by dou t is equal to c square into dou square x t by dou t square since here x is independent of t i can take x outside so i will get x into dou t by dou t c square into i can take t outside here i'll get dou square x by dou x square so dividing the entire equation with x t and c square so i will be having the equation like 1 by c square t dt by dt is equal to 1 by x d square by dx square so i am converting the partial derivatives in, term, in terms of ordinary derivative so that i can easily estimate the values of the given equation so now again same thing here so i am going to equate both the equations with a common constant k so i will get the equation like 1 by c square t into dt by dt is equal to k and 1 by x into d square x by dx square into k i can write it so here i'm replacing capital d is equal to d by dt here i'm replacing capital d is equal to d by dx so i will be having the equation like d is minus c square k into t is equal to zero and here d square minus k into x is equal to zero so now i'm going to take the different cases the first case is uh, same here also k is equal to zero so if i replace k is equal to zero uh, i'll get the auxiliary equation like m square is equal to zero so in this equation if i replace k zero i'll get m square is equal to zero here i'll get only m is equal to zero so now the complementary function for the first one is t is equal to c1 e power 0 t since there, there are only single root is there i'm going to only single constant here t is equal to c1 e power 0 t it will be equal to c1 only third uh, uh, second one having two roots so x is equal to c2x plus c3 into e power 0x i can write it so now replacing these two values this t and x value in this equation so i will get the equation like u is equal to xt or c1 c2x plus c3 i can write it case 2 same uh, if k is a positive that is k is equal to plus p square so the auxiliary equation will be m minus c square p square is equal to 0 or m is equal to c square p square the complementary function for this one is t is equal to c1 dash e power c square p square t and here the complementary uh, auxiliary equation will be m square minus p square is equal to 0 m is equal to plus or minus p the complementary function will be c2 dash e power px plus c3 dash e power minus px i can write it i'm going to replace both the values x and t in the equation u so i will be having the equation like c1 dash e power c square p square t into uh, c 
sorry e power px e2 dash plus e3 dash into e power minus px third case uh, that is k is equal to negative that is minus p square so the auxiliary equation will be m square plus p square is equal to 0 and m is equal sorry this only m uh, uh, yeah uh, it will be called m, m is equal to plus or minus ip will get it so the complementary function will be x is equal to c1 double dash cos px plus c2 double dash sin px so here only single root i'll get m is equal to c square plus p square is equal to 0 m is equal to minus c square p square i'll get it so t will be equal to c3 double dash e power minus c square p square t the complementary function i'm going to replace in the final solution u so i'll get c1 double dash cos px into c2 double dash sin px into c3 double dash e power minus of c square p square t so this, these are the various possible solutions of the one dimensional heat equation thank you